Hi guys, I'm here with the game versus Geronimo65. He is a gold lieutenant. Um, this is the setup that I've chosen to use. I sometimes also will swap uh, that bomb there for the captain. Um, depends on who you're playing. Against higher players, I like having this bomb in the front row. Sometimes it sort of slows them down with a counter-attack because this is obviously uh, meant to be used as an aggressive sort of blitz up the left-hand side. Um, and I think I might have played with this setup in one of my videos before, so hopefully this guy hasn't seen it. But I don't think I got to do a commentary there, so hopefully I'll be able to sort of show you guys how I play this setup. Um, this was one of the first setups I used to sort of learn how to attack um, and sort of some of the key points that of you know what's important to do while you're on an aggressive martial blitz or um, without taking too many risks sort of and still making good progress. So the goal with this setup basically is to try and make a good attack um, on the left hand side. You want to get your marshal to at least here to be able to sort of dominate this side of the board. And then I prefer, some people like to go deeper into the setup um, with their attack, but I prefer to try to make my way across um, to the middle with my blitz or whatever you want to call it, attack, um, minimizing the risks along the way as much as possible. And this side of the setup is pretty much designed to just buy you some time, that's why sometimes I have that bomb up here um, and obviously the center is also designed to buy you some time I don't really mind how I play this here um, I'll try to get in behind pieces normally major as I said this is your dominant position right here that's the that's the area that you want to be um, very rare there'll be a spy here behind a sergeant so now I've cleared that um, from being unsafe you can now start to work with scouts and we can work our way across the centre, so now he's got to take this scout if he wants to stop me from scouting that. It's a minor. So already you've cleared out some good positions here where they could have, um, you know, high power pieces. That one moved across, so I, I doubt that's the spy. So I will take that risk here. Move my marshal across, that means this piece can't block me anymore. And now I've got control here, I can move my colonel and bring a captain up because I've taken a major. So now I'll have a lot of this piece, and that should bring me across to here, hopefully, and should find me a power piece. I'll probably lose that captain on here, but that's alright. Maybe not if I move up. So now I can take that one. Which means this is probably a piece or else he's trying to swap out marshals there's the marshal there, okay that's interesting it means if this is the general here I can possibly use my general to try to squeeze some pieces out of the center depending on how hard he sort of lottos over here if he does. You'll notice here I'm just leaving my spy in the open. I'm not really worried about it. I'm just trying to minimize um, moves, really. Because I want to be able to find pieces and keep this attack going. I'll scout that one. That is the general. It's good to know. I'll let him hit that. I'm not sure here. I mean, if I was greedy, I would probably try to 
let him take that with the general and then use my major diagonally to minimize the lotto. I'm thinking this might be a piece to go for. I've got the major advantage already. I think I'll just play it safe. There we are. It's probably a colonel <laughs> coming down to replace. So my next priority will be to get my colonels across. for the s diagonal spy. Take this miner out. That saves my spy hopefully, just in case I need it later on. I swap out major here, I wouldn't mind that. So even on this side, even though I haven't necessarily, like I got a major and a captain out of it, but the main thing really was getting information on all these front row pieces right across the center, and it sort of forced him to have to counterattack with the general. Um, obviously, if you discover a marshal like that, it'll pretty much stop your attack. So I've just got him sort of held there now. And now it's just a matter of really clearing the lanes um, and swapping down to your advantage. The reason why I hit that one is because he had a captain and a major over here, so the odds of him doubling that up were actually very slim. I'm just wondering if this would be the colonel. I don't mind now discovering this piece, because now we have a high piece plus another one. Which gives us good information. So we know that one's something that can take a lieutenant. That one's not, that's good. So that's either a major or a colonel. We'll find out shortly. That's the colonel. Okay, that's good. Now we'll just minimize our lotto. out of majors. I am also down a captain. My captain's on the wrong side. I'm just going to bluff with this miner. Over here, I think. take that. Probably lose the miner if he goes down.
entirely sure what the best course of action is here. My up in sergeants, but that's a thin margin considering he might lotto quite badly. That was a mistake, but that's alright. Can live with that one. Um. Let's have a look. That's probably a good shot at the flag there. I'll just play this to guard this lane. I'm just trying to think as well. Colonel came from there and Marshall was from there. That makes this piece unlikely to be a bomb because of two squares rule. He probably wouldn't have that, which makes me think corner flag. And if not corner flag, then maybe something else even. Um, like flag over here and sort of some weird bombs somewhere. I'll run this lieutenant up the centre because then he doesn't know what's captain and whatever. That would be a lieutenant coming across. I don't mind that. Make him play. Lute uh, minor. So that's alright. That's a win-win for me. Also gives away more of the um, sort of bomb shape, which I'm sort of suspecting now. Corner flag seems more likely. Um, just because this looks like a weird sort of bomb setup, possibly bomb there, maybe bomb there, and then corner flag would seem the more logical option. So I'll pull this miner out. And put that up in there. We can just three square here. <laughs> that was quite a big risk considering I still had a captain. Makes me wonder if I should use my captain now. I'm up by a sergeant. No, I want to wait till he tries to bring a miner down here on this. Section. That'll be better. I'll bring my miner out. I apologise if my voice is a little bit monotone, I tend to <laughs> speak a bit uh, monotone and boring while I'm concentrating, but also had a long day, <laughs> which doesn't help. I'm just wondering here whether or not just have a shot at the flag, or what. I think I'll bring this piece out, because I'll probably try to lot of that. Yeah. Okay, well that's his captain trapped. Let's 
that's good. That only cost me a scout, really, to do that. But if I'm not careful, it could cost me a miner as well. I think I shall play this safe to here. And the three square with this one. Um, I'm just trying to think what's the best option. He's still got a lieutenant. I need to bluff this as a miner and sneak it up somehow. Or I can make him play, but I've got too many pieces on this side of the board as well. Maybe I should get a miner to here. Yeah, I think that's good. If he comes this way, I'll do that. So now we've got our minor back up, so that we're now free to move the captain. Uh, we'll put him there. Then we'll create some space here around the major, ready for it to move into action if need be. We can't let him three squares here, otherwise the lieutenant will be endangered from a threat, repeated threat up to here. And we are pretty much ready to go now. We're set up. I think a shot at the flag mightn't be bad. He's only got two pieces that'll take this miner up in that base. I'll just put this across into the centre and then we shall bring our captain into play. that there, three squares, there. And this captain is safely run up the center, avoid that one. And we can three square with the captain then up here. We'll then go diagonal here and here, and then we're good to go. We've now got our captain up, um, and now we're ready for a shot with this miner as well. So I think we should start by seeing if this is a bomb, which it most likely is, but might as well eliminate one bomb if we can. It will give us a bit more idea about the setup shape, even if we don't... Um, you know, it's not really much to gain a p pretty much known bomb. It's still worth it for the information. Yeah. Cool. So now I'm thinking if I was creating a setup here, I'd probably have that as a bomb as well. Could even go one. This might force something to happen. Scout, that's all right. That's not bad. That's all right. That gives us information on stuff, and now he's got to play. So it's definitely looking like it's going to be this side. Good news is. I am ready to go with the rest of my setup. So I can put this lieutenant here. That gives me access to this piece in case it is a piece. And then I can still access the center, which is important with where my major currently is. So a little trick here for two squares. I can use this to get my pieces out. So now I just play here. He has to go there, and my scout's out, using two squares rule. And now my major also still has access to the center for trapping. He'll probably try and bring a piece down the center at some point. And that's a trap between my lieutenant and my major.
I'll just move one there. Just in case. And I'll move one back. Just keep this blocked off. The fact he didn't move means it's probably could actually be a bomb there. Now we move here. And then over here. I'm just making room here to get this miner out as well, and then he might actually lotto that back bomb there. There's our go signal. He's going to lotto that, but that's alright because that means he might lotto the one up behind it as well. Yep, that worked out well. And I get a minor. So now it's just a matter of this. So yeah, that wasn't a bomb as I thought. That's going to be corner flag or else a big row of pieces. I think that worked out quite well. There were a couple of things to sort of take note of there was obviously um, got a bit lucky at the start with him trying to play aggressive with the Major, but that can happen quite often. Um, I think it wasn't a bad example of how to sort of use the General to defend two lanes um, after you've made your attack. Um, most of the time if their Marshal's there as it was, their General will actually be in the centre, but that's alright. I think if you try to focus something like this, or a martial blitz, which is normally done up one of the wings, and you have that goal to get to this square, that sort of that uh, dominant square, to uh, you know trap them from moving out too much, then you can, like I said, start working across towards the centre, and that along the way will either discover pieces that you could possibly trap, or pieces that are you know they're high valuable pieces, um, and you can sort of use your kernel and captain to take out, you know, a lieutenant, and then if you take the, a lieutenant somewhere up there, you know, they have to take it with something like a major, and that puts that piece at, at risk. And eventually playing like that will force them to bring out something higher, um, and you can sort of work with that, so that even though you've given away information really early on, you'll often find something um, yourself. So I hope some of you found that useful anyway. Um, and all the best with it I, if you want to have a go at something like this I really do encourage you to as I said this was one of the first sort of setups I tried to use to learn how to attack and it helped me massively um, just practicing doing something like this over and over in this sort of style and learning like I learned very quickly that is a very key square in or, or you know on this side to hold a lane and you sort of figure out where that is in the middle as well it's harder to do in the middle but it can also be done um, it's just practice, so go out there and have a bit of fun, and um, I'll see you in the next one.